Okay, I am on the Ohio Canal Trail, which goes from Walnut Road down near Buckeye Lake um, along Canal Road, and it goes up to Canal Park in Hebron, Ohio. I think it's like a couple miles one way. It's not really that long, but it's, I'm assuming all grass like you see now. I uh, don't believe any of it is paved or gravel. I think it's all grass. But it runs along the Ohio Canal, which is probably like 50 feet over through that brush. That's Walnut Road you hear behind us. And pretty soon you'll start hearing I-70, which is ahead of us. We actually will go underneath I-70. There's a little parking lot there on Walnut Road where you can park to hike this. And I imagine at the northern end at Canal Park in Hebron, there's probably something there you can also park at. Now when I come in, I didn't see any cars parked there in the parking lot on Walnut. Doesn't mean there's no one out here, just no cars parked there. I don't know how popular this trail is. I would guess that probably most people who use it probably come out of Hebron and heading south instead of parking down there at the south end heading north. You can't really see it too good, but the canal is just right over there between us and the road. You might be able to see a little bit of the water. Out there in the distance, you can see the vehicles on I-70. Like I said, we're going to be going underneath I-70 here pretty soon. But that is the actual canal right over there.
something over there in the water moving around. I can't see it with all this brush. Ah, ducks. Oh, heron. Great blue heron. But it looks like the ducks are making the noise. There they go. I don't know where the heron went. Uh, I see him. Probably just went to another spot. I'd be surprised if I don't see anybody else on this trail. I may see somebody when I get close to town. Many people walking it up in that area. I think this may get more people if it was paved to so make it some people riding their bikes on it and stuff but even grass you know it's just surprised to not see at least a couple people out here like I say when I get close to town I may see somebody and up around this curve there is a little covered bridge that we're going to go through. How do I know that from not being on this trail before? Because I did a little reading on this trail before I got here. And I was already over there on the road because I went over to the uh, fish hatchery. And I could see it from the road. the access point from the road.
Okay, we're coming into uh, Hebron now. The trail pretty much was the same, it's still grass, but you can see a little bit more wear and tear. I, vehicle tracks, human tracks, I don't know. Um, but I'm saying, I'm saying it probably is a little bit more active up here now. We're getting closer to town. But, uh, I've still not ran into anybody. <clears throat> Looks like we're getting ready to hit pavement here. So we're probably getting ready to come into Canal Park. Which is the northern end of this trail. So, I don't know if this is Canal Park. I'm assuming it is, or we're coming into it. I'm gonna go over and get me some ice cream. They don't have a Dairy Queen, but they do have an ice cream store. I already looked it up. <laughs> and it's not very far from this trail. So this is the northern end. Lincoln County Recreational Map. So this is the northern end of the trail. So I guess you can park here too if you want to jump on this trail. Like I said, I was really surprised not to see a single person. Especially I'm getting closer to this end, but I don't know. <laughs> 